I am on my way out to upstate New York. The folks over at Macintosh had sent me the Jeep Grand Wagoneer to review. Um, I don't think I'm gonna review the actual vehicle itself. I'm gonna, you know, focus on basically the audio system. So I'm kind of excited to check it out because it's gonna be like my first hundred thousand dollar vehicle that I've ever been in. The most, the, the next most expensive thing was maybe like a Porsche Cayman, I think. So that was like seventy thousand dollars. But this one, I'm gonna to get to drive this one myself. So I am a little bit nervous about smacking it up because I don't want to smack up a hundred thousand dollar vehicle. So I'm a little nervous on that front. And then while I'm there, we're gonna be shooting a review for this uh, outdoor television set from Silvox. It's, um, I think it's like a 55 inch TV. It's got like WebOS and all that stuff. I'm anticipating it to probably be a rebranded LG TV. But I do wanna give a shout out to you guys out there for checking out the video that I did for Beast on 4K Ultra HD. That was the introduction of my wife. The first of many possible 4K UHD reviews I'm gonna do with her. It seems like uh, a lot of you guys like her. She is, uh, she is Peruvian, so she does have a bit of an accent. So uh, she did get some nice comments from you guys about the accent. Um, you know who you are, keeping up with the Joneses, amongst a few other folks. So thanks for that. I was kind of anticipating maybe a bunch of negativity because I know some folks are kind of negative out in my comment section. But actually, I don't think we got one negative comment. Everything was very positive, so thanks for that. Fortunately, if you saw the video, it was kind of like a half introduction to my wife because for whatever reason the second camera didn't fire off and it didn't record anything so it's like i'm looking off to the side at the second camera she's looking at the second camera you're getting half of my face the side of my face and then you're getting partial half of her face so she basically got kind of like a half introduction so the next video that we shoot i'm gonna make sure that i do actually hit the record button this time and We'll get some, some better footage of her. But anyways, thanks for that. Thanks for all those uh, pleasant comments. She thanks you guys as well. But on the way to go check out this Jeep Wagoneer. They did ship me two of these TVs prior, uh, FedEx did, and they both showed up smashed. So I told these guys at Silvox to uh, send me, either don't send me another TV or you guys need to come up with some better packaging because every time uh, I showed up to my house, it wasn't like some cardboard uh, just a regular single ply cardboard box. So what they did was send me the TV in this nice wooden boxed enclosure, which would hopefully keep everything from getting smashed. And then we have the TV inside the box. So that's on tonight's agenda. That's what we're gonna be doing tonight. But first we're gonna have some barbecue. So uh, we ended up ordering the uh, the smoked barbecue sampler. It's something like 28 bucks. Uh, sounds pretty good. I think you said it was gonna be pretty good. And then we also got the mac and cheese because I'm all about that mac and cheese. But while we're waiting for this, uh, we're gonna order some, uh, we're getting some craft beers. We got a nice, nice little bar here. We're gonna rhyme back. You know, they got nice little, quaint little shops in this town. So um, I think we're gonna have to go with, I don't know what we're gonna go with today. But you know, what was interesting is that I had, what did we have? We had something that I haven't seen before. Paps has this hard, hard coffee, which tastes exactly like, like Cocoa Puffs milk. You guys know what I'm talking about? It's like, you know, when you eat the, the Cocoa Puffs, after you're done eating the cereal, you get the chocolate milk at the bottom. Well, Paps has this beer that tastes exactly like that. And it's like, it's supposed to be coffee, but it tastes like chocolate milk. And I drank that whole can in about like a minute. Like it's so good. Unfortunately, I don't see it on their menu. Uh, you get the Omega Gang Ale, and then I got the corn lager. So I was gonna get Stella, but I figure since we're here, we'll get something uh, homebrew. It's not bad. This is corn ale, and um, it's pretty good. It just, you know, listen, it just tastes like regular beer, but. I'm too gullible, you can't be telling me. It's very light tasting. A, a good amount of head, but it tastes like light beer to me. This is from Macintosh for tomorrow and also outdoor TVs. We're back at the house. Looks like we got some barbecue sauce. 
mac and cheese, split pea soup. This was free. They come to some free split pea soup, a la The Exorcist. More barbecue sauce. And this is the sample of a small barbecue meats and some flatbread. And this is the place we went to. It's called Smoky Rock Barbecue. It's been, apparently it's been there for eight years. I've lived there all my life almost and I've never heard of this place, ever. So here we got the mac and cheese. This is the sausage. I believe this is a spare rib. Got the pulled pork. And then, I, what is this, brisket? I think yeah. they gave us a brisket as well. I'm all about mac and cheese and uh, if you guys make a good mac and cheese. If you guys are in uh, Rhinebeck, New York, solid place to get the barbecue uh, sampler platter. All right, so this is one of the locations we've been thinking about. This is at uh, Lake Taconic. Yeah, possible spot. We're just doing a location scouting for the, uh, for the Jeep. This is the lake. I mean, if you guys are from upstate New York, you're probably familiar with, uh, with this area here. Uh, but yeah, this definitely looks nice. I mean, usually if you think about Jeep, you probably think about like nature and stuff like that. So this definitely fits in with the whole, uh, you know, Jeep Wagoneer, big family vehicle out in this kind of uh, environment. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Fine, are you? How you doing? Oh, sorry. All right, cool. Go ahead, start her up. What's your first name again? Shane. Shane, you're Shane. Yeah. Okay. So just gonna start. So you're gonna be doing a YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful screen. Yeah, Absolutely yeah. amazing. You got it? You got it? Yes. You got it? You're not getting out. <laughs> You're not getting out anytime soon. Oh, man. Fingers crossed that nobody gets electrocuted. If you are on the fence about you know, you're worried about driving something like this, you know, for your family or whatever, then uh, I say go test drive it. You're probably gonna really like it. You know, after sitting in a $110,000 vehicle, coming back to my, to my BRZ, uh, what a big difference between a luxury car and then kind of like an entry level car. Uh, kind of miss all that nice leather, the premium Eighth audio system. I need to save some more spare change.